Last thing we're going to go over is what to do when you pass the elbow and your, your leg attack options aren't really there. What are some other things that you can go to? Um, first, first thing that you, you might look for is a snap down. Because if I pass him, Matt and he stays really low and keeps his head and hands down to shut down my leg attack, that means I'm probably going to be able to maybe pull him underneath to a, uh, to a snap down and, and maybe run around. So uh, what that'll look like right here is a lot of times when you pass, if he's an experienced, savvy wrestler, or maybe he's scouted me and he knows I like elbow passes, when I elbow pass him, he's going to drop his hands to the mat and circle. He'll drop his hands to the mat and circle, which, okay, that's going to make it really hard for me to take a shot. Uh, and so if I can recognize that, uh, I can still find a way to score here. So what I'm going to do is, as I pass and he drops low, my other hand, my shooting hand, will come right to the head, okay? And from here, I'll come to the head, maybe even make a little switch to the armpit, and just snap right here, okay? Now I can go right to my arm drag, arm drag, you know, spin around, uh, or just a quick spin around here. So I pass, he drops hands, boom, snap, and go. Uh, it's pretty basic. If a little more advanced, maybe he doesn't drop his hands to the mat, but he stays real low. I'll fake the shot because he knows it's coming or thinks it's coming. He'll overreact and then I'll snap him down. So I'll pass. He stays low, fake that shot, snap, and run around. And again, that's all going to happen with my shooting hand. So the elbow pass hand stays on the elbow. So I pass. He stays low, fake, snap, run. side. Uh, pass, he stays low, fake, snap, run. And uh, you know, you're creating, you get his hips to fly really far back. All I need a lot of times is just a good little bang on the head and he'll go down. Let's go. Here, fake, snap, run. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I mean, again, you can, you can really make as many drills as you want, as many sequences as you want. Sometimes, you know, I can, maybe he doesn't go all the way down, but I, I, I pass him, I fake, snap. He doesn't quite go to stay up this time, though. So I fake, snap, pull. Now maybe it turns into something else. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll take my elbow passes and pass into other tie-ups. So here, again, it's all because, it's what, the reason this is all going to happen is because he squares up real hard and really just shuts down my options to attack the legs. So here you're just going to square up. I pressure in, I pass, he squares up. As he squares up, boom, I can grab inside tie right there. This is a, this is a good one. This was a, this was a nice little sequence that I used a lot. I would pass, he'd square up, inside tie, and then I would go right back to my single. So ultimately, I'm trying to get to my single with the elbow pass here. I'm trying to get there. Can't get there. He squares up. I go inside tie, pull the head, circle, uh, or pull the head and, and circle his leg to me and hit my single. So I can use elbow pass to create action. Um, it doesn't have to always be elbow pass to a shot. It could be elbow pass to a tie-up. I mean, I, can, I could elbow pass this. He squares up. I could turn this into a two-on-one. You know, I just did elbow pass, he squares up, inside tie. I can do it to switch, you know, I can switch elbow pass, fake, snap, you know. And now, you know, you, it's, it's, it's endless. It's endless where you can take it.